So the basic concepts of HCF and LCM will be helpful in doing such questions over here. So you see this is an odd number minus 1. So an odd number minus 1 will be an even number only. The HCF of these two numbers, just suppose I'm taking it to be X and taking this to be Y. And you see we already know that the HCF of these numbers is 2. So let us put it over here. So you see this is the product of the HCF and LCM. And if you divide it by 2 over here, you'll get the LCM. Hello everybody. So you must have seen questions like this in various competitive examination where the numbers are big and you might be feeling that which concept is to be used. So the basic concepts of HCF and LCM will be helpful in doing such questions over here. So over here you see if you take 2011 raised to the power 2011, the very basic thing is you, you need to understand that it is an odd number, right? Odd number, you're taking odd number of times. So it is an odd number. So you see this is an odd number minus 1. So an odd number minus 1 will be an even number only. So this is an even number, right? An even number over here. In the same manner, this is an odd number plus 1. So an odd number plus 1 is also an even number. And basically you will see that these are consecutive even numbers. Basically you see this is 2011 raised to the power 2011 minus 1. The next number will be 2011 raised to the power 2011. And then you have got 2011 raised to the power 2011 plus 1. So basically these are consecutive even numbers. So if they are consecutive even numbers, what, what is their HCF? The HCF of these two numbers, just suppose I'm taking it to be X and taking this to be Y. So HCF of consecutive even numbers is equal to 2 only, right? And we have to find their LCM. Now you have studied this property that LCM into HCF of two numbers is equal to the product of the numbers itself. So the numbers we have assumed for some time to be equal to X and Y. So that is equal to XY over here. Now the product of these two numbers over here will be 2011 raised to the power 2011 minus 1 multiplied by 2011 raised to the power 2011 plus 1 over here, right? And you see we already know that the HCF of these numbers is 2. So let us put it over here. So over here you see LCM into HCF is 2 and that is equal to if you multiply you see these numbers of the are of the form a minus b and a plus b. In place of a you've got 2011 raised to the power 2011 and in place of b you've got 1. So we can use a plus b a minus b formula that is equal to a square minus b square. So this is basically 2011 raised to the power 2011 the whole raised to the power 2 minus 1 square. I hope it is clear. So you see we can use simple uh, laws of exponents. This will be multiplied over here. So this will give you 2011 raised to the power 4022 minus 1 over here. I hope it is clear 2011 into 2 is 4022. So you see this is the product of the HCF and LCM and if you divide it by 2 over here, you will get the LCM. So therefore the LCM of these two numbers is 2011 raised to the power 4022 minus 1 by 2 and that is the solution to this question. Thank you.